Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in the Cocos 2DX C++ physics series and in this part we're going to be looking at how to set up a physics world. So we will now set up a scene so it supports physics for every scene that you'll be using physics within. Mainly it'll probably be just the game scene but if you are using other scenes then you'll have to set those scenes up in a similar manner as well. So we're just going to go ahead and open up our project. This is one that we already have generated and we're going to want to open up our scene header and what we're going to do is create a physics world object for the scene plus a method to set the physics world so what we're going to do is create a method actually we can make both of these private let's try and get into good coding practices while doing these tutorials so the first thing we're going to do is create cocos 2 d colon colon physics world Asterisk, you can name this wherever you want. Uh, we're going to name it scene world. And now our method is going to be void set physics world cocos 2D physics world asterisk world. This is what we'll be passing in. We're just going to do an inline function. It just does something simple, it just assigns world to scene world. And that is it for this method. And now what we're going to go to is the scene CPP and we'll need to modify the create scene method so it supports physics. So what we want to do is instead of just create, we want to do create with physics, then we're going to do scene get physics world set debug draw mask, and we're going to do physics world debug draw or, and this basically will draw, sorry about that, outlines for our physics objects etc so this is good basically just for debugging when you do publish your game you will pretty much never want to have this enabled maybe you got some sort of tutorial application then that's a different matter but generally you won't the last step in here is to do layer set physics world so now we're just setting the physics world and what we're going to do is scene get physics world and this physics world is the method that we created right here. So we just set the physics world to the local physics, I mean to the local physics world, which is this here. And if we ever need to modify or do anything to the physics world, we all just access this one right here. Though our game doesn't actually do anything different from when we started this tutorial, physics have been implemented. Over the next few tutorials, we'll be adding some physics properties and uh, objects etc so you can actually see physics in work in the next part of the series we'll be looking at how to add a screen boundary if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via youtube all the required links for source code will also be in the description and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day